method na um, madali namang tandaan. Which is the colors. Yes. Right? Kaya, so, wow. <laughs> sorry. Inuhuli niya tayo mga hindi pa nagpapavaccine. <laughs> Joke lang. Okay. So, ang hirap niya talaga i-play, promise. Sakit na nang alay ako. Actually, yung karang tinuro ko siya kanina, yun yung pinakasimple. What? <laughs> pinakasimple pa yun? Uh-huh, yeah. Eh, ano pa yung pinakamahirap niya? <laughs> Ah, uh, anong floor? <laughs> Nalili ko ako. Ito ba yun? Ayun! They are already there. So, ayun siya. So, come on. Mapasok tayo. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, trip. We are here now. So, see you later. Hey, yo! What's up, mga trip? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Rod Strip YouTube channel. Drop it. Well, my good trip. In this uh, vlog, I'm going to interview uh, Claire, and she's a Filipino. So we'll get to know more about these Jumbra matters and her experience and yung kanyang competition na sinalian. So. For more, just stay tuned, okay? If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also including the notification bell button na yun para naman you're always updated to every video that I'm going to upload. And if you think that this video is likable, paki like naman this video, please. So, hindi na natin pala tagalim mga ka-trip. Let's welcome Claire! Woo! I know! So, first of all, hello Claire! Hello! Okay, so thank you for giving me an opportunity to have an interview with you. But first, can you just introduce yourself first? Hi, my name is Claire Francesca Carpio. I am 17 years old. Alright, and actually she's been living here in Aktobe in Kazakhstan for how many years? For about four years now. Four years now, okay. So how's your experience here living in Kazakhstan? Actually, uh... It's a little bit different from how it was in the Philippines because mm -hmm. the pace of the environment was um, peaceful in the mm -hmm. Kung baga do, compare natin sa Pilipinas, ano siya, mas fast paced kasi sa Ah, okay, yes. And what about the language? Bakita mo ba siya naging problem at first? Yes, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mahirap talaga kapag nandito ka tapos may language barrier. Mm -hmm. Hindi mo alam kung paano sabihin, ano to? Mm -hmm. Ano yung gagawa ko dito? Yes. Tapos mahirap din makipag-kaibigan. Yes. Kasi lahat, hindi naman lahat ng tao dito nakakapag-English. English. Mm -hmm. So, meron ka naman ang natututunan mga words na Kazakh or Russian? Mostly Russian. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm able to hold a conversation with a Russian person. Wow, nakakatawa naman. So, pwede mo ba silang batiin in Russian language? Okay, siyempre, viet, dobre pa jalovat. Yeah, that's all. Okay, I can just speak chut-chut. Chut-chut. A little bit. I watched your video, which was uploaded by your mom in Facebook. And na-amaze ako na meron pa ng Filipino na nakakapag-play ng Dubra. You receive an award for that. I mean, a certificate yes. and a recognition, right? Kukunin ko lang ako nakukuha. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan lang naman siya. Ito ba yung dalawa? Dalawa. So, mga ka-trip ako na kumuha kasi feel at home na ako dito sa aking <laughs> bahay. So, ayan. Pwede mo mga explain first muna. Okay. Uh, um, ano na to? Ang trophy na to? Para saan to? That is trophy from my first competition mm. in Dubra. I won second place. Wow! Second place. You're... Grabe, ilang kayo ng laban-laban dyan? Marami. Sobrang From dami. all of Kazakhstan yata. Okay. Tapos nakakuha ka pa ng second place. Ah. It's not bad! Woo! Congratulations! And you have your certificate, certificate. right? Certificate. Mm -hmm. Here it says Taraya Oren, which is Kazakh. Mm -hmm. And in Russian, it's Taraya Maista. Mm -hmm. Second place. Second. May nakita din kasi akong dalawang medals. Ano yes. Uh, ito, galing siya to, sa Turkistan, sa first oh. ko. So, so, Turkistan talaga yung una mong laban? Yes, Turkistan. Okay. Uh, ito yung medal, tapos may kasama din siya. Okay, and what about and this? What is this? This is Best Stars. Best stars. This is in October. Mm. Actually, quite recently, 
Uh, napanalo, napanalo ko siya, third place. Uh-huh. For this, alright. Grabe. Yes, very much. Grabe. This is an opportunity para makita at matunghayan natin yung kanyang performance. So, syempre iba yung feeling mo nung nag-perform ka with, with the crowds, oh, right? Yes. Ano yung feeling? Nakakakaba. Especially nung first time kong nag-complete sa mm-hmm. Turkistan. Hindi talaga ako doon nakatira tapos lahat ng tao doon nagkakazak. Wala akong masyadong kilala doon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kaya nakakakaba din naman. And ayun nga, eh, sobrang dami din ng natural born Kazak or Russian. Tapos ikaw isang Filipina, di ba? Parang grabe lang yung nakaka-proud lang yun sa part namin mga Filipino. Now, let's talk about more on Dumbra. So, this is Dumbra, right? Ano pinagkaiba ng Dumbra sa ordinaryong gitara? Kasi uh, naiintriga talaga ako dito. Ang uh, striking difference nila is yung two strings. Okay, dalawa lang. Dumbra has two strings only, while mm-hmm. the guitar has six strings. Okay, at nakakapag-play ka din ng guitar, tama? Yes. First instrument ko. Grabe, kasi kung nakakapag-play ka ng guitar, tapos six strings yun, di ba? Tapos ito, dalawa lang. Ano yung adjustment mo? I mean, napaka-challenging sa part ng dalawa lang yung strings nito. Um, ang pinakamahirap kasi yung pag-adjust ng fingers mo. Mm-hmm. Kasi kailangan talaga ang kailangan lang kunin dalawang strings. Mm-hmm. Pero sa may nakong galing sa gitara, may din sila na pag-clock. Mm-hmm. Kasi di, kapag walang pick, nakaganda tayo kahit nakapick na okay, tayo okay. para sa gitara. Pero dito kailangan close finger tapos may, finger. may right manner siya. Ah, right manner. Bago ka sumali doon sa competition, ilang months ka nang nag-aaral ng Dumbra? Um, from my first competition halos two months or three months. Grabe. Months lang yun mga katrip ha. Sobrang tapos agad-agad sumabak sa competition. Grabe yun ha. So tas naka second place pa. Grabe talaga yun. So <laughs> ayan. So kung mapapansin nyo mga katrip, itong Dumbra ay ito yung kanyang itsura. So parang biyak na book. <laughs> okay, so parang ganun siya. By the way, Dumbra is one of the na, uh, Kazakh national instruments, yes. right? So, paano mo tinatandaan yung mga ano niyan? Yung, kung saan mo ilalagay yung kamay? Ang mga finger, ano yung fingers mo. May um, ano ka ba? May pattern ba yan? Or yes, anything? actually, I have what here. Oh, this is your? Para pa siyang notes. Ah, okay. So, nag-notes po siya mga katrip. Para siyang notes, pero mas adjusted siya kasi dun sa method ng teacher ko. Because uh-huh. my teacher has a different method. Uh-huh. Um, ginagamit niya ay colors at shapes uh, uh-huh. para ma-navigate mo kung paano gamitin mo. Uh-huh. So, pakita natin. Ito yung, ano, yung strategy na ginawa ng kanyang teacher. Oh. Very smart strategy. Yes. So, nilagay niya ng colors. So, para mas madali niyo matandaan kapag yeah. sumusunod na siya dun sa chords. Parang gano'n, di ba? So, nakakatawa. Mga trip alam ko namang gusto niyo rin marinig kung ano yung kaya niyong tugtugin. And right now, I'm going to give the floor to Claire para mapakinggan natin at makita natin kung paano niya ginagamit ang Dumbra. So, take it away. I'll just be here listening. Ko sa dalawang competitions. Okay. I hope you like it. Uh, actually, dapat talaga siya. Kailangan yung legs mga kapatids. Okay. opportunity para mapakinggan ng ating mga katrip. Ang pag-play mo ng Dumbra, grabe ang hirap niya na. Nakita ko kasi yung kanyang ano, yung pinagagayahan, yung pattern niya, yung chords. At napakahirap niya for those two strings lang na ginagamit. Challenging talaga siya. So, ano yung mga bagay na natutunan mo when you're playing Dumbra? Uh, natutunan ko din naman, of course, a new instrument tapos a new type of focus. Because mm-hmm. kailangan mo talaga ng focus at kailangan mo ng alamin kung anong speed yung kailangan mo. Okay. 
Ah, uh, pwede mo ba akong turuan ng kahit na konting ano lang? Paano ba to? Okay. Permit so, lang. natin yung first part ng tutupan. Uh -huh. So, uh, by the way, yung plinay niyang song ay Kutak Tamen? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Bob Brown. Okay, Bob Brown. Bob. <laughs> Ang hirap nung kapag ikaw na yung nagtuturo. Hmm. First, What's then you should be pulled up and you should be pulled up and you should be pulled up and then your thumb, you should be pulled up and you should be pulled up. This? Thumb thumb. Huh? Yes. Oh my gosh! It's so hard. You just need to relax the fingers. Okay, we're relax the fingers. Then, from down. How is it? Down. Down. Here. In this part. Ah, dito. Aha. Tapos, sabi ko sa gitara dito. Oo, sa gitna. I like this. Strong ka lang nakaganto? Oh, nakaganto. Aha, pang. Pang, pag ganyan. Pero closer. Para akong bulag na ito na mamalag mo saan. Okay na ba yung salamin na ako? Kailan mo na lang nalata dito. Oo, nalata. Ito na lang. Yung trophy. Oo, yan. So, namamalimus po ako sa inyo. Ako po isang bulag. Blag. Blag. Asar. Okay, so ganun. Up. Up. Ah, dito naman galing dito naman. Aha. Down. Down. Up. And up. then, next, lalagay mo dito. Oh my gosh, na-stretch yung kamay ko. Tapos, tatanggalin mo ito. Tatanggalin mo yung nasa okay. ping. Pero yung nasa taas, kinaan mo. Ah! Down. Tapos, down. Down. Up. Down, up, down, up. Aha. Uh -huh. Nangalay ako, <laughs> nangalay ako, promise. So, grabe yung tiyaga mo dito, ha. <laughs> And for two months lang, natutunan mo lahat yun para sa isang competition. Nakaka-proud yun, mga katrip, di ba? So, ayaw ko na i-try to. <laughs> sakit sa kamay. So, Mas mahirap sa gitara. Talagang sasakit ang madalit. Oo. Oh, oh. Good thing na meron kang background in playing guitar. And then, eto, konti na lang yung adjustment mo. And nakakatuwa yun dahil sumali ka nga sa mga competitions. So, grabe yun. Nakaka-proud. Wait na nga. Ano yung sunod kong tanong? <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Claire. So, mahirap talaga siya i-play kung hindi mo siya love. Okay? <laughs> At kung wala kang interest. And good thing then na uh, interest mo din talaga to. I love instruments and music, actually. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to say thank you dun sa nagturo sa yung teacher. Would you like to say something for her? Thank you, of course, to Miss Gosana. She is my teacher and she's very great. She, She's an amazing dongle player, actually. Mm -hmm. Namamangha ako kapag siya yung nagtuturo sa akin. And mabait din siya, tapos very patient siya sa mga students niya. Mm -hmm. And very smart because naka-isip siya ng bagong method na oh. madali namang tandaan. <laughs> so maraming maraming salamat sa time mo. And I hope that you learn something good and alam mo yun, yung dedication mo dun sa skills na America And the same time, yung talent mo, di ba? Hindi kasi lahat ng tao ay may ganyang talent. So, thank God for that. And, yung passion mo pa rin. Kung love mo talaga yung ginagawa mo. Kahit ano yung struggle mo. Kahit ano yung pressure. Gagawin at gagawin mo. At magagawin mo siya ng paraan. Naman yung mga dream ninyo. Never follow stop. Follow your dreams. Yes, follow your dream. Follow that star. <laughs> okay. Okay. Follow your dream and just try and try. At darating. Yes. Darating din ang moment para sa inyo. And thank you for today again. And always remember, be happy. Alright. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless everyone.